2, photoelectron. In the last video, we talked about work function, which is the minimum energy needed to dislodge an electron from a metal. And we talked about this formula here as well. It says for every metal, there is a threshold frequency on minimum frequency F0. If we put F0 into that formula, then we get work function, which is the minimum energy required. That gives the photon enough energy to produce photo emission of giving up electrons. The number of photo electrons emerging from the metal surface per unit time, let's say per second, is proportional to the number of photons striking the surface. That in turn depends on the intensity of the incident or incoming radiation or light. It follows that the photoelectric current is proportional to the intensity of the radiation provided there's a condition. The frequency of the radiation is above the threshold or above the minimum frequency. This is a graph of maximum kinetic energy of the released electron versus the frequency of the light striking the metal surface. And you'll notice here each metal has got its own threshold or minimum frequency needed. So for metal A is this frequency here. If the frequency of the light striking the surface of the metal is below this threshold frequency, then no electron will be released. For metal B, the threshold frequency is here at this point. Now we're using some real figures for the graph with some real metals. And these are the seven colors of the rainbow. And you can see that for potassium metal surface, red light photon is below the threshold frequency. So it will not dislodge any electron from potassium. Green light will just do it. Blue, violet is okay. Blue light will have enough energy to release an electron from potassium with some surplus energy left over and that energy becomes the kinetic energy of the released electron. As for these two metals, none of these colors has got enough energy to dislodge electrons from them. Here is a summary of the main points you have learned. You can just read through it yourself.